This is me. This is Allie. We're engaged. But our pop culture references go over each other's heads. So this is the show where we bridge our cultural gap. This is Allie Hasn't. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Allie Hasn't. Yo. This is Allie. Yo. <laughs> this is Doug. Yo. What hey. are we doing, Doug? Today, we are watching The Tick. This was a show okay. that played, I can't remember if it was Saturday mornings or after school. I just remember it was in a time slot that I wish I could watch it more because I really liked it, but it wasn't always the easiest to watch. And I don't exactly remember why. I think maybe it was like right after school or maybe it was just early enough that I would sometimes- I was about to say that. I'm just like, you woke up Saturday mornings. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the, I missed a lot of shows because they were too early on Saturday mornings, but you can, and, and look, I've never been a morning person. Like, even now. Even, you know, especially now. <laughs> <laughs> the Tick started off as a comic series. Okay. Yes. Question, is this actually about a tick, like the insect? Well, actually, <laughs> Allie, ticks are not insects. They are arachnids. I'm sorry, is this tick about the arachnid kind of tick? No, uh, oh, okay. this, uh, well, I guess we'll see what it's about uh, shortly, but I think one of the reasons why I'm a little bit surprised yeah. that you haven't heard of The Tick at all yeah. is that there is currently a live action series that is uh, on Amazon Prime. I don't have Amazon Prime. I know you don't, but it, regardless, it's it's out there and it's sort of like people talk about it. Uh, it's not a huge hit. It's not like Stranger Things or anything like that where it's like really in the public consciousness, but it's being made right now and it's, it's doing reasonably enough that they've that has at least gone two seasons. I don't know why you're surprised that I haven't seen this. I mean, we have a whole show of things I haven't done. I mean, it's a miracle I've even seen The Walking Dead or Game of Thrones. Well, I'm not surprised you haven't seen this tick. I'm just surprised you haven't heard of the tick at all. Yeah, it's all. nothing. Okay. And there was also a, sometime into the 2000s, there was a very short-lived live action rendition. Anything else you want to say before we start? No, let's go, let, let, let's jump right to it. <laughs> How long have you been a superhero? Me? Oh my gosh, it's like how The Incredibles started. <laughs> well, yeah. not much else. He's a little hard to work with some Okay, buddy boy. He's stronger than anybody. Listen, uh, this is an epic tale. <laughs> Everyone calls him buddy. Heart-stopping danger. Kind of reminds me of like... What is it, Doug Funny? Oh, um, it's just called Doug, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, also called the bane of my childhood. <laughs> it really has that 90s feel. It does. Hello, well, Reno. it was I the 90s, to be fair. But actually, the animation for the 90s is pretty good. I've seen some shows that are a little, like, come across as a lot cheaper, for sure, from that era. Oh, I'm definitely not insulting it. It's more of just, like, it, it has the 90s charm. <laughs> like, it kind of reminds me of Cyber 6. <laughs> Is that a Wonder Woman knockoff? Kind of, yeah. Uh, if I recall, her name is American Maid. So basically, if you haven't caught on, this is a bit of, kind of a spoof on superhero stuff. Yeah. The Tick is a superhero. You know, it's almost more timely now than it was then, just because now we're really, really oversaturated with uh, superhero stuff. But even at the time, there was a lot of like, there was a lot of superhero cartoons like the X Men and Batman and. Spider-Man that were like really big shows, so... Do you ever watch this, um... <clears throat> cartoon called Ozzy and Drake? I think that's what it's called? Mm, I think it was a little after my time, but I've heard of it. Ozzy I think it... Oh wait, you've mentioned it before. My mission? He feels like a character that you would call on. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> I can see it. So, perpetually in superhero costumes, I Yes, Mr. Wiederspan. Mm -hmm. um, Arthur. Not Bunny, sir. Moth. Arthur. Yeah, obviously he's a moth. <laughs> I even called him Bunny Boy. Yeah, <laughs> it is out, yeah, I'm second. Individuality. The moth suit on Wings Road is a lot more exciting than taxes. Oh. <laughs> what 
a strange delivery of that line. It's tall. It's tall. Man, have you actually saw someone like that huge in real life? You mean Paul? <laughs> no, that's from your point of view, but from an average point of view. <laughs> okay. <laughs> His guy's got to be like seven feet or something. Like that. He just towers over everybody. Like when I stand next to someone who's six feet, like the top of my head is at like their shoulder right mm -hmm. here. <laughs> I love that the tick just gets around by thumping on the rooftops, just destroying everything. Which is funny because like this is exactly what would happen when you see the superheroes doing all those jumps. Like it doesn't, it's not graceful. <laughs> Gravity is a harsh mistress. <laughs> are you alright? Well, you can't be the tank. Ticks are arachnids. They got eight legs. See? How do you That's know? All you have. <laughs> do you suck? The cape chameleon! Love the eyes. Now I got Ooh, nice Karma word. Chameleon stuck in my head. Karma, 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 Karma Chameleon. Come and go. Come and go. You can get flagged by YouTube. Enunciate! <laughs> Enunciate! It can't do play! <laughs> <laughs> Eat desk! I'm liking this show. <laughs> it's, so, it's very you. Isn't it though? You! Whenever you make like <laughs> these little remarks, I'm like, it just sounds like Doug. <laughs> I like how it's intense. It's you. This whole show is just you. <laughs> oh boy. What does that mean? Oh my god. <laughs> See, that's a joke I would not have gotten. <laughs> As a kid, actually. <laughs> the bow the Bible. Excuse me, miss. I've got to change my outfit. There's that fear of commitment. Which one's his eyes? Ooh, listen to Miss Intimacy here. Uh, Jingle. Oh, oh, those, those yeah. are no gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, because yeah, 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 he's a bat. Some people... I didn't understand for the longest time Deflator Mouse's name, but apparently it's like a reference to like a ballet or something like that. Ah. Uh. Or, uh, yeah, so... Ah, yes, I know all about the ballet. Well, in Batman Begins, apparently... They were watching Deflator Mouse. Oh my god, it's Arsenal Schwarzenegger. Oh, it's, it's like the Punisher. Actually, yeah, very much like the Punisher. I think that is. Okay, sorry, uh, uh, Batman Begins. Yeah, Batman Begins is apparently the thing that they're watching when the, 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 the when Bruce Wayne was a kid, and that they, the theater that they leave, they're watching Deflator Mouse. Mm -hmm. so. How well can you swim? <laughs> but seriously. <laughs> that, that's like a joke you would totally say! Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Look, I think it might be safe to say that the tick, got a lot of, like, the tick really influenced my sense of humor. <laughs> like I said, I, I liked this show as a kid. This is really good. wrote a cartoon. 100% people I have to say that I, one of my long-term goals is to make a cartoon. It's like Newton's Cradle. <laughs> <laughs> it the cartoon style kind of reminds me of Mega Babies. Mega Babies? Yeah. I don't know if I know that one. Aww. That was a cartoon I watched a lot. It was a weird show. Mega Babies. Yeah. <laughs> mm, looks like a future episode for Doug hasn't. Mm, I guess so. Oh no! Well, watch out for those blimps. Oh, of course, no nobody dies. Nobody dies. It's a cartoon. No one's allowed to die. So it's like what, like One Punch Man, where he just doesn't die. <laughs> Uh, his, his superpower is that he's completely invulnerable. Our future hold and yes, my sidekick Arthur, certainly a force to be reckoned with. This and is nice. So, may evil beware. Mm -hmm. and... This show's ridiculous. Yes, yes it is. 
I think this is the episode I, I watched the most of as a kid. It was just always... I don't know, for some reason I just saw the reruns of it all the time. Every time I want to watch The Tick. Sorry, what, first, what episode is this? It's called... Uh, well, okay, the, so this, the episode structure, they're all called The Tick versus something. Okay. And this is to The Tick versus Chairface Chippendale. Chairface... Chairface Chippendale. <laughs> Did I ever tell you that back when I was working at Joe Forte's, which is a restaurant, um, someone was talking about Chippendales, and I... Is, what is it, a strip club? Yeah, with uh, male strippers. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. See, the problem was was that I had no idea this was it, so the whole time they were talking about this, I was like, why? why like, I'm thinking of the cartoon of the chipmunks. Yeah, yeah, Just yeah. like, is there like a strip club of like these two, uh, two squirrels by cokers? Like, oh my god, you're so pure! <laughs> <laughs> well, finally, you're the pure one. <laughs> The moon is moving along. Look, okay. Chair face Chippendale. <laughs> I wonder how much, like, did the dollar worth of damage. I wonder if there's someone on the internet who's, who's um, done the math of like approximate dollar. Someone's got it. Well, I, I know for like Marvel movies, someone, someone's done that. I'm, I can't remember what the channel is. The Marvel movies must be huge. Especially like from the first Avengers alone? Oh yeah. I mean, I'm, well, I, gotta, I can't imagine. There's just billions, I imagine. Oh, absolutely. Also, Batman, no, not Batman v Superman, uh, Man of Steel. The, 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 mm. the destruction of Metropolis. Oof. But we run this town, bug boy. Oof. I'm getting grossed out by the pimple face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go see a skin specialist. Jeez. Looks like it's infected. <laughs> oh, apparently that works. <laughs> Did he unzip his neck? Yes, yeah. If you're gonna refer to her as a maid, might as well go all out, right? Ah, American maid. Good of you to join Should have, like, the duster. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could, could expand on it a bit. I think they do, actually, a little bit later. So is this a strip club? It's too powerful for me to take on alone. The Geisman lenses. Let's take a closer look at them. Oh, of course. I forgot it was Tony J who did Sheriff's oh, Chippendale. Yes, Chippendale. They are so beautiful. It's just what I need to complete my super weapon. Now I ask you, is that a present <laughs> <present> or what? <laughs> <laughs> His name's Chairface. I <laughs> didn't think it was gonna be literal, but I should not have been surprised. How are you today? That's worse. Th this is worse. Oh my don't touch me. Gosh, I don't even <laughs> wanna know what that Oh that smell would be so bad. Super action going on up here. This is even more absurd than the first episode. The rottenness cherry of them all. <laughs> Do you recognize his voice? No. <laughs> really? Uh, I wasn't really listening. Okay, well. His name's Tony J. And his, uh, I guess one of his most famous voice acting roles is, uh, Frollo from Hunchback. Oh! And also he was Megabyte in Reboot from, which we, I know we haven't watched in a long time, so. Yeah. Oh! Very famous voice actor. Got that Where did you people grow up? deep voice. Cheerface! <laughs> 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 uh oh, Ali's not gonna get over this one, guys. It's so <laughs> funny. Oh, and a <laughs> Wait, I have an idea. It's a That's good. Ah, it's a noose. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love it. Happy birthday! <laughs> like, oh, complete with party hats. If Chairface doesn't start stripping, then that is a complete waste of a name. Well, keep in mind, this is also, this was actually made for kids. Chippendale! Well, I, okay, I think the pun is that Chippendale's a kind of chair. We've only got Oh, is it really? I don't think so. Let's, let's Google that. 
the precision you have. That's a really big C if you're gonna spell your name. That's a Chippendale chair. I suspect that the. Oh, you're right, yeah. He's not gonna fit it all on there. Come on, plan it out differently. Oh no! <laughs> Mr. Potato Head! Ooh. Blow your nose at me, mister. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a thing! It's you! <laughs> this also kind of reminds me of the... Well, uh, like a tamer version of the Ripping Friends. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Ripping Friends is really... Was really, like, weird and gross. <laughs> it was a... Yeah. I watched that. I, I watched it a little bit, but I just couldn't really get into it. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm the oh, sorry. <laughs> or we'll write this whole place off the face of the earth. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> is it too much to hope for? Like, though, for the rest of the episodes, the moon always has chat on it. I don't know. Is that is that too much to hope for? <laughs> Gross. Ew, is he different? Blue. Of he he yeah it seems a it little. It feels blue. very. It feels stronger. No beer. Yeah, cold. yeah. The coloring is a little bit different here, actually. <laughs> it's just like every time he sits on the couch, it's like <laughs> you can hear things cracking. Ah, the man cold. <laughs> oh! oh! For somebody in apartment 14B. So, <laughs> Arthur, is that you? <laughs> I was failing. I love how like nothing phases him, but the moment he gets a cold, he's like, oh. Tip, relax. Everybody gets a cold once in a while. Coronavirus. The soup. Listen, I'm going. Oh, I was a trap the whole time. What? Who are you? Thrakosog, there will be plenty of time for brain eating after we conquer Earth. How is he pronouncing his words? Mm, good point, yeah, let's just tell you. Well, the conquer Earth. Superhuman soldiers. I will rule the world! That voice sounds familiar. Let's see if I can figure out who that is. Mm. <laughs> this really feels like it's from the Ripping Prince. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Sounds like a Chekhov's gun to me. Go next door and fetch me a tissue sample from the tick. Got it? Oh, it's it's Jim Cummings, of course it is. I know that name. Uh, what else did he? Oh, wait, is that Winnie the Pooh? That's Winnie the Pooh. It's Winnie the Pooh! <laughs> <laughs> he apparently does a lot of the characters in the show, which is not unusual for him. That's rude. That's so oh. unnecessary! That's Arthur's lamp that he saved. You know he's invulnerable. Ultimate himbo. <laughs> I just had the strangest dream. I was taking some math test I hadn't studied for. And then you tried to saw off my head. <laughs> I, Arthur. <laughs> of course you are. And I, Tick. Brace yourself while corporate America tries to sell us its wretched things. <laughs> That was a wonderful line. I just loved it. <laughs> well, as corporate America tried to sell us its wretched things. <laughs> Man, you even sound like him. Uh, a tissue sample. <laughs> there you go. Tissue sample from the tick. Oh, that smile reminded me of the Grinch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the real Arthur. He's a clone. I don't know which one to shoot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, classic. Matter of rare quandary is this. If you two don't stop this roughhousing, somebody's gonna get hurt and end up crying. <laughs> I can prove I'm the real Arthur. I'll tell you something only you and I would know. And then at lunch, they put onions on my cheeseburger after I expressly asked the waitress not to. Do you hey man, day, when they mess up your burger, indeed I do. It's just, it's just, a, it's just wrong. I, Arthur, I can't argue with that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh! Disgusting! 
nothing. Go ahead, Slimy. Take your best shot. Hit me with your best shot. Oh, dang. Wow, man. <laughs> dog, a worthy adversary. Hot dog. Oh, but this, uh, somebody's gonna be upset about their laundry. <laughs> <laughs> now talk to me about class. <laughs> what happened to the evil Arthur? Good question. Can you get any more disgusting? <laughs> oh. Ew. Well, that would do it. Oh, 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 oh that's so gross! <laughs> Don't make me come in there. Oh. It's not possible. What did I just witness? Ugh. Uh, some of that was really gross. <laughs> I think when you're a kid, the gross, really gross, like booger humor and stuff like that, is it doesn't, it, phase, it, it doesn't phase you. Somebody like, yeah, yeah, I, I totally right. I watched the Mega Baby, so it absolutely did not phase me when yeah, I was a kid. Yeah, but now it's like, oh, it's like, I guess maybe it's become more aware of like how disgusting things are. <laughs> but, <sighs> <I'm> like, <gasps> yeah, well, well, there you go. Uh, okay, so that was weird. Ollie, what'd you think of the tick? What I just said, that was weird. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That wasn't a review of me. That no. was a review of... Yeah, of the show. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I loved it, though. It, it, it's you encapsulated into a cartoon. Yeah. You know, I was a little worried uh, going in that um, maybe it wasn't as funny as I remember. Chairface! <laughs> yeah, yeah she, she really can't get over Chairface Chippendale. But uh, I think it holds up actually pretty good. It's yeah. funny. It actually is. It actually is legitimately funny. I'm pretty happy. I, I, I'm glad you had a good time. I was. I was. I wasn't sure if it'd be your brand of humor. And well, hey, I'm marrying you, aren't I? This is also true. But it, yeah, you know. Also, that is kind of weird. Is I do feel like, like maybe the the tick did like leave a real imprint on me. <laughs> it it has those uh, witty one liners. Also, <laughs> I don't even know how to describe that humor. I think there's a level of absurdity in it. Yeah. He's also just so innocent. Oh, same thing with your sense of humor. Where, yes, he is the ultimate himbo, but... Himbo? Uh, him and bimbo. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, but despite his uh, stupidity, he is using his strength and invulnerability for good. And I'm surprised there haven't been severe consequences from the three episodes that we watched. You know what's a shame is that uh, what we didn't see in in that because uh, the the third episode was all during the daytime is that we joked about it but from that point forward the moon always has charm. Oh! <laughs> it, it actually does. Oh! Uh, <laughs> so uh, I like that. I was uh, the tick was a big hit series. It went for three seasons. Oh. Um, it actually got some Emmy nominations. I can see why. <laughs> yeah, uh, for I think for writing and an Annie nom uh, nominations and I think a few wins, which is like an animated specifically award. So it was like it was a it was a pretty big deal. It was a great like response to the very seriously toned, mm -hmm. you know, Batman animated series yeah. and X Men animated series and and just sort of like had a lot of fun with the superhero genre. And one of the things I love is not even just the Tick and Arthur because they're great. They have a wonderful dynamic. Mm -hmm. The, the the be well, the, the, not just yeah, the villains and the, the side character superheroes. Yeah. There's such a funny collection of ideas. Like it's it's really great. I don't know how much of it comes from the comics and how much of it originates in the show. Uh, I'm sure there's a little column A, a little column B. Mm. The writing room must have just been guys having a hoot. I think you would have gotten along with those people. <laughs> I, I think I would love to have been a part of writing a show like that. <laughs> uh, I'll, in all honesty, in fact, in, in 2009, my brothers and I we did put together. A web series called The Day in the Life of a Superhero, and it was all about like superheroes in a, in a world where that's a normal thing, and, and in some ways kind of influenced by The Tick. Probably like The Tick and Mystery Men and all those kind of spoof things, hmm. but with our own brand. I don't know what humor. Mystery Men is. You don't know Mystery Men? No. 
Well, I guess we'll put that in the old Ollie Hazard <laughs> list. Uh, that's... This is this is how it goes, by the way. Mm -hmm. He'll mention something. I'm like, what is that? Would you like to watch more of the tick? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. All right. Maybe that's what we'll be doing uh, for the next so couple weeks. I don't know. Any more thoughts on it? I don't know. I, it, it's something that I'm just going to really associate with you because it, it has your sense of humor. I It almost feels like you made it. Unfortunately, eight-year-old Douglas cannot take a responsibility for the, <laughs> for the tick. But I think we could say maybe, maybe the tick made me. <laughs> Well, I really like your jokes and your sense of humor, so... Good. Because I, I do try to make a living out of it. What about you, everybody? Did you, did you guys watch The Tick when you were growing up? Please let us know in the comments down below. Uh, maybe your favorite Tick episode or your favorite... Or if this video compelled you to watch it. Yeah, if you haven't heard of it, did it like, hey, did this... Did it, did it even go like, clearly I'm missing out on something. <laughs> we will talk about it in the comments down below. It'll be a lot of fun. And, uh, oh yeah, we got to figure out what to do next. Yes, what are we doing? You know what? Uh, I want. I really want to do something fun. You know what? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna watch a made-for-TV special that I used to watch a lot of the kid. We're gonna watch Cartoon All Stars to the Rescue. What even is that? <laughs> So it's not like a Stranger's Thing kind of, or a, it's, it's not a huge hit. It's not like Stranger's... Stranger <sighs> Things? I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs>